When I was in sixth grade, I was invited by my friend on my football team to his birthday party. My mom had to work till like five or six, so I left school with him and his family. So after school, we were waiting for his dad, and when he gets there, he pulls up in a Hummer. That's right, a Hummer. Turns out his dad played for the Los Angeles Dodgers and was the backup catcher for Paul LaDuca. Pretty cool, right? Then it was time for dinner. He took us to Kobe Steakhouse. And I'd never been to a restaurant like that before. And it was just super extravagant. Um, when we were done, we ended up going back to his house, which was huge. And there was players from the Dodgers baseball team there. Not to mention, like I already said, the house was enormous. There was a DJ and everybody had bought awesome gifts. I remember that I had only gotten a $25 gift card to GameStop. But what do you get someone who already has it all? I started to say to myself repeatedly, am I really supposed to be here? Or is this some kind of mistake? I didn't have the level of money, influence, or gifts, but I showed up because I was invited and it was awesome. I think all of us have been there at one point or another where we get surprised by an invitation, you made the team when you didn't expect to, or you get into a class filled with smarter people, or you feel like you're in a friend group with people way cooler than you. If you've ever felt that, are you kidding me? Or how did I get here feeling? You have a lot in common with some people at the very first Christmas. But to talk about that, let me take you back, like way back. For thousands of years, Israel was waiting for their Messiah, the promised one, who would come and change everything. As the anticipation built, everybody had ideas about how it would all go down and who would get to hang out with him and what kind of people would have access to him. But everything about how Jesus arrived to Israel was surprising. They thought that the type of people who would be in the know would be religious leaders, kings, but instead it was, well, let me give you a quick look. Next week, we're gonna jump all the way into this story. But for tonight, I just want you to know one thing. The first people invited were shepherds. Now, most of us don't really live around a lot of sheep or shepherds, but back then, shepherds weren't the most popular, the richest, the most powerful, or the most religious people. That's what made it so interesting that an angel, and yes, I get it can be super weird, shows up and announces to them the news of the Messiah and invites them to go see for themselves. I have no way of knowing for sure why God chose them to know first, but I do know that he does everything on purpose. And I can't help but imagine he was making a point about what kind of people were invited. Not just rich, not just powerful, not just popular, not just athletic, not just academic, but shepherds as well. And eventually, everybody else. All that mattered was that they were invited. So why do we care in the middle of a let it glow extravaganza? Here's why. Because you're invited too. I don't know what your experience with church has been like before you came here. It may have been amazing, or you could have had some bad ones, or maybe you have felt excited when your friend told you about coming here tonight, or you may still be nervous about what's going on and think it's weird. If that's you, I get it. And I wanna let you know that no matter what you felt when you logged on, I want you to log off knowing this, that you are invited and you belong here. And being here doesn't mean that you have to act like somebody else. Believe like everybody else or leave your brain at the door. The real you is invited here. Maybe that surprises you and that's okay. Jesus surprised people from the very beginning and you're invited next week as we kick off the series called Christmas Lights. That is about the very idea of showing up, being surprised and seeing for yourself what Jesus and Christmas is all about. So come back next week. After all, you're personally invited. And don't forget about the landing on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. right here in person at the Hope Lutheran Church parking lot. I look forward to seeing you all. Take care.